Dan, I'm glad you mentioned George Papadopoulos. We've been told sort of the official version of events is that this whole investigation started when he was having drinks in London and some drunken conversation about potential Russian collusion when, in fact, John Brennan and others are now under the microscope as to whether uh, they were starting this much sooner. And John Brennan, as you know, wrote this op-ed uh, yesterday in the Washington Post saying, I will speak out until integrity returns to the White House. Here's what he said on Morning Joe, and then I'll get to your reaction. I think the, uh, Mr. Trump has demonstrated uh, a paranoia and insecurity, as well as a real concern about the investigation that is underway. Certainly his tweets uh, do not uh, seem like they're coming from a person of, of innocence and confidence. Mr. Trump is going to promote his narrative. He certainly is going to continue to try to discredit uh, the FBI and the CIA and others. But uh, I think, make no mistake about it, the, the American justice system, I think, is going to prevail uh, in this uh, endeavor to get to the bottom of who might have been collaborating and working with uh, foreign actors to try to undermine the integrity of the election. Dan, a lecture on justice from John Brennan. John Brennan, no single figure in American history has done more to discredit the intelligence community than this liar. He's, not only is he a liar, He's a liar about being a liar. He's been, guys, he's already busted lying. He said he didn't know about the dossier, yet he briefed people up on the Hill about elements of the dossier that then appeared in a letter to the FBI. He's lying, he's just making this up. And one more thing, by the way, he keeps avoiding this topic about foreign intelligence and his relationship with him. He's the one who met with British intelligence people. This is open reporting. It's already out there at what they call director level meetings and exchanged information about Trump before this case was even started by the FBI. Jay John, why don't you tell us about that? He keeps avoiding that topic and switching it to Trump. All right. Dan Bongino, we appreciate you coming in. Dan, appreciate it. Always fire. He's a menace to the community. A bad influence on our children. He's just a bad egg. <laughs> He should have stood in his shell.